the first half, another Navy drive is thwarted as Jim Gano comes up with a big interception. Watch this piece of scrambling by Steve Foley. It's Price with a perfect pass, but a penalty spoils the play. Fourth quarter with two lane ahead, 17-7, and Navy driving. Paul Brock and Mike Truax make a big stop on fourth down, and Navy is turned down. It's still 17-7. Shipmen drive again. And Alan Glenny's pass into the end zone is tipped away by David Lee. Navy adds a late score, but Tulane wins it 17-15. Green Wave takes on Vanderbilt just 90 minutes after accepting a bid to the Astro Blue Bonnet Bowl. The home crowd fears a letdown, but Foley brings them to their feet on the first series with a brilliant bit of scrambling. it all the way for a 45-yard touchdown. After a Vanderbilt field goal, Foley cranks it up again, this time keeping for 43 yards. to the air this time and hits Eddie Price who takes off down the sidelines for 40 more big yards. With the ball at the one Foley punches it in himself to make it 14 to three two lane. Third quarter. Here's the Steve Foley show again. for 54 yards. Tailback Doug Bynum slashes for 22 yards. Terry Looney at quarterback. He hits Fortner on a 15-yard play. Now in the fourth quarter, Looney back to pass. Great catch by Jaime Garza in the corner for the clinching touchdown, and Tulane runs its record to 8 and 1 with a 24 to 3 win. College Park, Maryland, where Tulane takes on the Peach Bowl bound Terrapins in their final home game. Maryland erupts for a 14 to nothing lead. Late in the first half, Tulane is driving with Looney at the controls. He hits Garza for 22 yards. Sets up a 24-yard field goal by Falgu to put Tulane on the board before halftime. Third quarter, Tulane fighting back as Doug Bynum takes off for 29 yards. Tough Terrapin storm to a 35-3 lead. Tulane still plugging away. Looney hits Tommy Thibodeau for 13 yards. Looney goes to the air again. This time to Darwin Willie for 13 more. On fourth down, 
Looney spots Mike Foley wide open in the end zone and hits him for the score. But Maryland is just too much on this November day, winning 42 to 9. December 1, the night everybody's been waiting for, especially the 86,958 who had tickets to be in the biggest football crowd in the history of the South. As Tulane takes on Orange Bowl bound LSU. After a scoreless first quarter, LSU reaches the Tulane 30, but a fourth down play is halted by Rusty Chambers and David Greiner. than two minutes remaining in the first half. LSU's Mike Miley is passing. And David Lee picks it off for Tulane. Terry Looney and the alternate offensive unit come in to try to break up the scoreless deadlock before halftime. Doug Bynum launches the drive with a five-yard run. Working against the clock, Looney hits Tom Fortner for 13 yards to midfield. <laughs> 38 seconds left in the half. Looney keeps this time and he picks up 14 yards. Now with 28 seconds left, Looney drops back. Spots a receiver, lobs a long one. Into the waiting arms of big Darwin Willie and the green wave takes a seven to nothing lead. Here's another look at that catch by Darwin Willie. LSU has time for one more play before halftime. But David Greiner picks it off and nearly breaks it all away. And the Green Wave holds a 7 to nothing halftime advantage. Tulane's defense takes over. Here's LSU's first possession of the third quarter. Brad Davis is slammed down hard by Roland Zabinski. Tries again, but Rusty Chambers nails him for a loss. And on third down, quarterback Miley is nailed by Nathan Bell. See some more defense. Here's Miley at quarterback with Olivarian Chambers after him. Fourth quarter now with a score still seven to nothing. Doug Bynum takes off for 12 yards. Hits Tom Fortner for 11 yards. On the next play, Doug Bynum breaks into the secondary. And he goes 53 yards all the way to the Tiger one. Fullback Lyndon Lassiter slams it into the end zone and Tulane leads 14 to nothing. digs in even deeper. Miley rolls out with an open field in front of him, but Hall makes a great diving tackle. Two plays later, Miley's pass is picked off by David Greiner. And David Greiner, playing with a special arm cast, makes his second steal of the night. Billy Broussard now calling signals for LSU with time running out on the Tigers. Nathan Bell chalks up a 13-yard sack. Fourth 
down. Broussard calling signals. He's under great pressure from Brian Alexander, and his pass falls harmlessly to the turf. He runs out the last five minutes, and on the game's final play, Foley keeps. Tulane winds up one of its greatest seasons with an even greater victory, touching off a celebration that even exceeded the excitement of Mardi Gras.